I've done a comparison between Elementor, Bricks Builder, Breakdance, and your standard WordPress classic editor in terms of page speed performance and what it means for your mobile and your desktop. Let's look at it. Two or three years ago, there was a lot of discussions out there where people would slate particular page builders, namely Elementor. And I'm not going to lie to you, when I started looking at Elementor, Bricks, and other page builders, the moment you load up that page builder, and it could be a plugin or a theme, and all you do is put a heading, maybe an image, but even just a heading, you are near enough going to hit 99 to 100% for the desktop and mobile. But with Elementor, you are pretty much guaranteed a score of about 75-ish with just a heading and an image. And I know that was putting off some people. However, the game has changed and I've done a comparison between many page builders in terms of their performance. And I'm going to share the results with you right now. This is the page I did the comparison with for Bricks Builder, Elementor, WordPress Classic Editor, and even Breakdance as well. I actually started off with just the heading and an image, and then I duplicated it three times just so I had a bit more stuff on the page. And I know some of you are going to say, yeah, but that's really lightweight. There's no WordPress menu. You haven't got any icons. There's no accordion. There's no contact form. Look, I'm just trying to showcase what your scores are going to be like when you start to assess this, because in the past, if you were doing this with Breakdance or Bricks or WordPress, you were going to be hitting 99 or 100%. But even just with a heading and an image, when you did it with Elementor, it was coming in in the mid 70s. Now, all of these comparisons, let's just cut to the chase and show you the scores. So we've got Bricks Builder, 100 on the mobile and desktop, Elementor, 99 and 100 on the mobile and desktop, and WordPress Classic, and that should also say Breakdance as well. Hey, give a guy a break. But the WordPress Classic and the Breakdance were both coming in at 90 for the mobile and 100 for the desktop. Now, I want to make really crystal clear, okay? This is the raw page builder. WordPress, just WordPress Classic Editor, all right? The 2024 theme, and that was it. Bricks Builder, WordPress, and the Bricks Builder theme. Elemental, Hello theme, Elemental Free, and Elemental Pro. And with Breakdance, it was just the Breakdance uh, plugin as well. But this is what the scores were coming at. So the very first test I did with just a heading and an image I know I showed you the layout where I went and duplicate it, but these were the scores with just the heading and the image. And I can tell you now when I duplicated it and I tested these scores out over a two day period, continuously back and forth just to make sure it wasn't an anomaly. It wasn't luck. Oh, you got 99, but actually it's 85 or whatever. The scores were always consistently coming out. And here's the thing I want to make a point of. OK, Elementor Pro is now 99 on the mobile and 100 for the desktop. Breakdance was the same as WordPress Classic. This was interesting. Every time I tested it, at no point did the WordPress Classic or the Breakdance ever go over 98. Now, I don't know, it might have been the image I put in or something about the way it was built, but the score always stayed there. Bricks Builder was hitting 100 and 100. But if you did this test two years ago, and I would love to hear your comments in the comments bit below, Elemental Pro would have been in the mid 70s. There's, by the way, there's no custom fonts loaded. I just loaded in PNG images, all right, uh, standard plugin settings. So if there was anything in Bricks or Breakdance or Elemental or anything like that, where it was like, you know, optimize or improve the DOM or anything like that, I did go and activate them. OK, I used the performance settings that are giving to you within the page builder or the theme. OK, but there was no performance enhancing snippets. OK, there was no performance plugin added at all. I really want to make that clear because some of you are going to look at that elemental score and go, yeah, you went and added in fast press or a bit cold snippets. No, I did not. And when it comes to recommendations, they were all roughly the same. There might have been a slight difference, but it was mainly like minify your CSS, reduce your unused CSS, use a next gen image. Remember I said I just loaded in a PNG. I did that intentionally. I didn't even load in a custom font. OK. But the scores were coming out really good nonetheless. This is where things get interesting when you now start to analyze or dig a bit deeper when you're looking at Elemental Pro compared to Bricks or WordPress Classic. Excuse me because I forgot to put the breakdance value on there, but you are going to see it later on. So don't fall off your seat. When it comes to the amount of DOM, Elemental is quite high. 
Bricks and WordPress Classic, very, very close together, but Elementor is double over there. And when it comes to chasing requests, Elementor is way up there. Now, let me just explain. The DOM is going to be the things that are being rendered. It could be letters, it could be lines, it could be images. There's going to be things that are being rendered before you can see it on the screen. Every time you load up a page, there's a DOM, okay? You might think, well, what if I just had the word hello? You will still have some DOM loaded just for the word hello, you know, and when you start to make it bold and do other stuff to it, there's more DOM being rendered. You got to kind of get your head around this. Some of you, when you look at your page speed performance, it might say something like 4,000 DOM or there's too much DOM excessive and you kind of go, what they're talking about, you know, I don't know anyone called Dominic. Things being rendered on your page. So the more busier you make the page, the more DOM that's being rendered. It's a well-known fact that there's more code being loaded in the background when your page is rendering with Elementor, which is why we've got more DOM. I mean, it's, look, if you were to go and inspect your page and you were to do a comparison between other page builders, when you go from, say, the section to the container to the heading to maybe the image, a lot of page builders are quite short. Elemental is quite lengthy, okay? So there is more DOM being rendered. However, I do want you to focus on the page speed performance. And when I was running these, and please do look at the seconds, etc., things were not slow. I was looking at it on a mobile. I was looking at it on a desktop. I did not see any delay in things opening up. And yeah, I know it's just a heading and an image, but believe me, I've worked on many websites and I don't really see anything that's going to make me go, hmm, that is a problem we need to consider. Now, the chasing requests. This is very, very interesting, okay? Bricks and WordPress Classic, like look at that, single digits, one or two. Elemental Pro, 25? That's like 12 times more than what Bricks Builder is doing. Word And by the way, Breakdance was quite low as well. So why has Elemental Pro got so many chasing requests? And what even is a chasing request? Basically, think of it like a waterfall or a knock-on effect. Things have to load in a certain order before they're loaded on the screen. So you might have like container, then there might be another container or an inner container or something like that. Then you might have like a widget container, then you might have the actual widget, say a heading, then you might have an image. And there's things, they go like this. Whereas more newer page builders, and when I say newer, I'm saying ones that are coming on after. I think that's the other thing you have to also realize. If you imagine the very first car that was built, okay, it would have been, it would have done the job, but it wouldn't have been brilliant. And every time you have a new version come on, they kind of look at, well, this is what they did. So we're going to tweak it or make it more efficient. And I think that's what we have with other page builders. I do want to point out, though, that in the last year, Elemental have done a lot of stuff on the back end to improve page speed, performance, and optimization. And the results on the screen, I don't know where I'm pointing, the results on the screen kind of do show that. So we can argue about it in the comments. Now then, the scores I'm showing you there, that is what you get with one header and one image. When I then triplicated it, Bricks and WordPress Classic went up a bit, and I've also shown you the breakdown scores as well. The chasing request did not change at all. That was really, really interesting. Whereas for Elementor, the amount of DOM being rendered obviously went up. But again, the chasing request stayed the same. So when you start to load more on your page and you're going to have maybe more images and more containers and you might have an accordion and a form and other stuff going on, header template, footer template and all of that. Eventually, at some point, you will, well, hopefully you're doing it right to start, add in some code snippets or some performance plugins like Perf Matters, WP Rocket, FastPress. You know, there's so much choice out there. You will do that. Look, anyone who's watching this and goes, nope, I never load a single code snippet and I never load a single performance plugin. I would love to see your website and what you're actually showcasing out there. Unless you've got a super fast, super, you know, Nova server or something secret you're using. So at some point you will use a performance plugin. Now, when you use a performance plugin, Elemental Pro's chasing request come tumbling down to six. So this is me testing out the same page for Elemental Pro with fast pressed installed the chasing requests okay because a lot of this can be down to you know css and stuff like that going on in the background when you go and optimize the 25 came down to six now the amount of dom stayed the same but the chasing request does come down so if you're going to stare at that 25 and go whoa major problem 
fine, that's up to you. But you will for any one of these uh, page builders. WordPress Classic, maybe, maybe not. But if you're using Bricks, Breakdance, Spectra, anything, Elementor, Divi, you will at some point use a performance plugin. And when you optimize, and I'm just using a free version of FastPress, when you optimize, that chasing request comes down. I have found this experiment comparison very, very interesting because about six months ago, I noticed changes happening in Elementor, like in terms of optimization. When I did a video about a month ago or less than that, and there was a big change. Now, these are fresh websites. So anyone who's got an existing website, you go in, you know, improve and make sure you've got the latest versions of whatever you're using. Don't expect your scores to jump up. Because you've got legacy build, you've got legacy code in the back end, there's legacy all over the place. But from the get go, with a brand new website, okay, if your mobile score is hitting 99 from the get go, that's pretty damn good compared to where we were two years ago. I'd love to see and hear your comments. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Catch you later. See you soon. Take care. Bye.